spend a little time and introduce you to base motion drill number 15. This is a simple diatonic line that's going to take us through um, more or less a major scale in the bass, ascending and descending. And I'll show you the positions here. We're going to start with a tenth. Moving to a tenth. So D and F sharp, five and seven, strings five and two. Now I'm hammering up to the seventh fret with my third finger. You could pick it. I like to de-emphasize that weak beat bass note, but you could re-strike it. I'm mostly hammering or sliding that second bass note in each case. D and F sharp, E and F sharp. So we're passing up to another set of chord tones. F sharp and A. So we've gone from root and third to third and fifth. And this really helps, I hope, will help you with mapping the board. That here's, if this is your major chord shape, Here's your first inversion. Your second inversion's up here. But this time we're activating, rather than a melodic, melodic motion, we're gonna have bass. I think it's good to get the bass activated and get yourself used to using your brain in that way of having a, active bass. So 9 and 10, I'm using my 3rd and 4th fingers, F sharp and A, chord tones. Like I said, the 3rd and the 5th. We're going to push that F sharp up to G with the 3rd finger. And then we're going to leap to more chord tones. Here is a and D, an 11th, but it's going to quickly become a 10th. I'm hammering again. If you have prohibitively heavy strings, this might not be hammerable. So first finger, little finger, 7 and 10, hammering up to 9. Another 11th, 11th means that there's 11 steps between the bottom most note and the top note. Think of it as a compass, widening, closing. So in this case, the compass is getting slightly smaller from an 11th to a 10th. If so this is C sharp and F sharp, up frets 11 and 14, and then I'm hammering up to 12 with my second finger, D. So you hear that? We're an octave above where we started. Now to come back, we're going to reverse the process, but it might involve some slides rather than hammers. So here I'm using first finger, little finger. Might be a good idea then to just slide C sharp to D when you ascend. Now to descend 12 and 14 down to 12 and 11. So here we have to grab B and D, 9 and 10, and pull off. I'm pulling off to A. 7th fret. And now G G and A 10 and 10 with 3rd and 4th finger again sliding down to F sharp. Then E and F sharp 7 and 7 so we have these little 
dissonances that get resolved half half a beat later. So ascending, the dissonance comes on the weaker part of each beat. But here, extra credit, you can go up to 16 and 17, F sharp and A. Now we could always move these to other string sets, but I'm trying to stick with just a few here. So maybe this will get you moving some voices and thinking about things in a slightly different way. I sure hope so. I hope you're finding inspiration and enjoyment in your musical journey, and I wish you as always a very good day.